I'll go to the back of it. Actually, the guy will be doing your uh, rifle demonstration later on. Yeah, is he, when is he going to do it? But ten fifteen will be uh, ten fifteen. The first one. Okay. Uh, and if not that, there's one scheduled for eleven as well. Yeah. So it's actually the first percussion cap weapon used by the British Army. What that means is they replaced the old flint lock system, where a piece of uh, flint would strike a piece of steel in order to set off the powder and fire the weapon. Instead, it uses a little percussion cap. Kind of looks like a brass top hat. And it's filled with fulminated mercury. And so that actually explodes when struck. Wow. Wow. Makes it a uh, little more reliable, particularly on humid days like this. Yeah. Uh, unlike the green-coated riflemen, who are much more independent out on the battlefield. As riflemen, with their great accuracy, this could actually hit a target up to about 300 yards away. Wow compared to, at best, 50, 75 yards mm -hmm. on a good day for a musket. Uh, <coughs> they were able to kind of pick their own targets, go after enemy officers, sergeants, and musicians. And you might be wondering, uh, why pick on those poor musicians? It's actually because they were the ones relaying the officer's <coughs> orders during battle. Because black powder is much too loud to really be able to hear on your own uh, what a man is yelling uh, at you unless he's right beside you. So the band was a, still able to be heard. So the, every piece of music they knew how to play uh, essentially had its own meaning to the soldiers. Ah. They'd uh, recognize that uh, by the sound and be able to know that, say, this piece of music meant advance, there's a special tune for retreat, everything like that. So if the band stopped playing, it would confuse the uh, enemy troops and they'd be more likely to decide that uh, it simply wasn't worth it to be on the battlefield and start retreating without orders. Basically, he puts the weapon in a secure position, and then he opens his cartouche on his back here, just as I have, and he takes out a black powder cartridge. That's where you keep all your black powder. Load! So he actually bites off the top of the cartridge and pours the black powder down. Sometimes you get a little bit in your mouth, and it tastes really bad. Trust me. <laughs> Rod! Oh! Return! So as you can see, he did that with relative ease, but of course he's not actually loading a belted ball, which is what you put down the rifle. If he actually was loading a belted ball, it has the grooves that go all the way down the rifle, which is what makes it a rifle, and he would actually have to force the ball all the way down to the bottom, probably taking about 30, 35 seconds to get it all the way down. So it was very difficult. Cap! So nice placing on that little percussion cap, for those of you who weren't here earlier. This little brass top hat looking thing. It's a percussion cap, basically, excuse me, would have been used to cause a spark to ignite the gunpowder that you've just placed down the barrel. Make ready! So right after this next command, he's going to fire. It's not too loud, but if you feel like you need to cover your ears, now would be the time. Present! 